negativity, poison, in the form of humans, in the form of entitlement, in the form of get the fuck out of my way. I don't know where I'm going with this, but anyway, how to deal with negative people, all right? So the first thing is you don't. And what I mean by that is that you limit your exposure to them, all right? So however you see fit, there's many ways to do it, all right? Maybe you don't answer the calls. Maybe you keep the conversation short, which, which I'm going to speak on a, a little bit later, all right? Maybe you just occupy your time with other things. I mean, I mean it's your choice. Uh, but what if the person lives with you? What if I'm that negative person and you want to get away from me? What do you do? What do you do as my baby mama may be listening to this from the other side of this door or in video form? Well, you just resolve to spend more time out of the house or you kick me out, whatever you want to do. You know, you spend time with friends that you actually want to be around. You go to Starbucks, whatever. But just get away, all right? And you know at least for six to eight hours or whatever, you won't have to see me because you're going to be asleep. Then the amount of time you spend at work, then the amount of time that you spend in the bathroom, you know, and then the amount of time you spend outside the house running errands, all right? Limit your exposure to them, all right? You don't have to expose yourself to people you don't want to expose yourself to. Um, well, obviously, there are some scenarios where you have to, but you can still limit that, all right? I understand, all right, you, 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 your child's father, your child's mother is a is very much annoying and you gotta have these meetups and you gotta yada yada fucking yada but limit your exposure all right so the next thing is that you don't engage in their conversation so you may have somebody that you actually love that you actually like you, you know you like to be around or you know let's say it's your parents let's say it's your mom whatever obviously you don't want to just ghost her and you don't want to just leave her on a back burner but she can be negative sometimes what can you say so when they speak on these negative events, things that happened, things that would have happened, what I would have done, all that shit, you um, you don't engage it, all right? You let them talk. You just observe. You observe without judging. Let them speak before you know conversation is done, all right? Some people just like to get it off their chest. They like to hear it. They talk, and it's over, all right? So, and I'm going to speak more on that later, so... Actually, I'm going to speak on that now. So, Because the next thing is that you just prepare yourself. You prepare. If, if, if you notice the pattern, you know what people are more inclined to do, then you prepare yourself for that. And that will allow you to not engage it. Because oftentimes we engage things uh, unconsciously. So it's like we just be, we find ourselves very forgetful as to what we're going to get ourselves into. We repeat the same old cycle like, oh, wh wh well, what did he do? Wh what were you about to do? Or what? Oh, yeah, what happened? Oh, then before you know it, boom, you caught in the fucking negative wormhole. All right. Uh, so you so you have to prepare for that mentally prepare like, OK. This is where I'm about to go. I'm, I'm getting to something. All right. If I don't put up a bit of a barrier. All right. Do not engage in the negativity. Do not. Fan the flames. Do not throw wood into the fire. All right. Do not kick the dog. Um. Don't kick the dog. Um. Yeah, and you prepare yourself for it. The conversation will be a lot shorter. And obviously, you know, you gotta have a, a get a, a get out plan. Like you gotta be on the move. You gotta know what's next. You gotta value value your time. You gotta value yourself. All right. You can't be everybody's pincushion, whether if they want to hurt you or not. You just can't be, all right? So, prepare. So, the, and the next thing is that you don't give them what they want, which is kind of off the same tree. But this is more so if they have, you know, negativity or they have a negative emotions towards you. And they want to make you out to be the bad guy, the enemy, you did them wrong. Don't match that level of negativity, even though 
I understand people will have you fucked up. I understand that. But if you really don't want to engage in it, you really don't want to lower your vibration, you don't want to be a part of that, you have to find a way to extinguish that fire as fast as possible. Put it down, all right? Don't be dismissive or none of that. Just you know, try to be calm. I'm, I'm speaking to myself because sometimes I get involved in, in that as well. But it takes a lot out of me and it just messes up my momentum and I'm just not willing to do that anymore. So if I'm not trying to fight, I just say I'm not trying to fight. All right, that's it. If people want to attack me after that, we'll go from there. But I'm not, if I don't want to fight, I don't want to fight. I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't want anybody to feel like I'm the negative person in their life. I don't always get it right, but, I, but I'm but i trying, okay? I always, I always try. So, I don't, I'm just going to do my best to extinguish the flames, all right? Don't want to be a part of that. Don't want to give them what they want. Because a lot of negative people just want to bring that out of other people, all right? They call that the pain body, or Eckhart Tolle says in his uh in his book was it New Earth or or something like that I, I forget I forget the name, but the pain body and people in pain want to pull pain out of other people, all right. But people who feel joy want to pull joy out of other people too. So just remember that. So you practice joy and you try to pull that out of other people, all right. And the, and the final thing is, man, you don't take it to heart. Understanding that. You know, that the emotion that you may feel will kind of encourage you to pull that out of other people. You know, like attracts like and all that. You understand if somebody's feeling a certain way, they have these feelers of sorts. So they can just kind of reach out and grab for something that's like minded, you know, to kind of split the pain down the middle like it's a bill. And to say, well, look, you share this with me. You know, we're in this together. You know, and that's why a lot of people who are kind of upbeat, who are happy and things like that, want other people to be happy. You know, it just it just makes sense in a level that on a level that I, I don't that I couldn't possibly define. It's something that's kind of intangible. And I'm sure there's some people out there who can make better sense of it than I. But just off top, because I'm not doing any research, I'm just I just noticed this. That however you feel is, is what you want around you. is what you want to bring out of every. So that's why somebody who's typically positive won't be hanging around somebody who's typically negative. It's just an energetic thing and it will repel. The energies will, will repel each other. All right. So don't take it to heart. It's not about you. It's about that person and what that person is dealing with. Obviously, don't be a, a toxic person. Don't be a gaslighter like I found myself to be. Uh, many times, so I, I will admit that, you know, just the pain that I went through and just wanting other people to feel it as well. Um, it's very it's very toxic, even though it, oftentimes it can be quite innocent, man, because you're not consciously doing it. So if it's an unconscious thing, I mean, it's it's about as innocent as a, as a child screaming and things like that. But at the same time, you have more resources. All right. You're a grown ass person. Nobody's going to solve your problems for you. All right, so that's that's the difference right there. So you don't take it to heart. Don't be that toxic person. It's okay to apologize. It's okay to, to make amends. You know, it's okay to be imperfect. Um, I mean, all right, that's it. Like and subscribe.